So I was spying on Bean out here and he just looked so happy and content. He was on like the highest swing. So makes me feel better. But now I think he's excited for dinner. Hey sir, what you doing? Ready for some pellets? Jamie Lee here with Bird Tricks and last time we left off with Bean he bit me and he had kind of a rough go transitioning to my aviaries that are in towards the front of my house that I keep in my garage that I can wheel outside so I put him back into my backyard 15 foot diameter aviary and let him kind of settle in before I began training and we had some pretty amazing progress back there so I want to go ahead and show you what happened what in the world? You doing okay? Need a little bit of help? You want help? No, we're not doing that. Come on. Oh, you can go down there, or I will help you down there. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, it's so exciting! Dinner, dinner. Now I will give you pets. Yeah, now I'll do it. He's like, no, I'm eating. So I was gonna do a crate training session out here, but I just decided let's make sure he's actually calm and collected and chill, and we'll do it tomorrow if he seems good. So I'm hoping, hopefully, I'm hoping tomorrow before breakfast will be the time I do it, if I remember being. So here, ready to do a training session with Sir Bean. Hey you. Hey you. How's it going? Ready to do a session? Not ready. Okay. I'm going to set this down. I brought a crate in here, so we're gonna do some crate training eventually. See how he does first. Totally forgot a clicker, I'm realizing. Sorry. Right. Remember this? Good. Good. Well, he remembers that. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to move him down so I can put him by the crate. I think he'll be fine for stepping up and all that, but I'm realizing this is like total shadow, so I'm sure moving it over there. Goodness. Okay, that should be good. I should grab my clicker though. Okay, come. Good. I'm not taking the treat super nice though. Hey, yeah. Uh, maybe in a little bit. I'll have to see how he does. Good. So changing up the crate again. Thought this one would do a lot better. Actually, my friend Kim suggested it to me today. And I was like, you know what? That's brilliant. Good. It's way more comfortable. His feet don't make a funky noise on it. look bundled up it's because I'm a wuss it's like 63 today so ready can you come down here yeah why don't you go inside and get some more because I'm working with bean So 
I was wondering if he would act differently or respond differently if I was hovering over him versus not. It's like he doesn't want to cross the perch. Good. You realize it's not doing anything bad to you? So maybe that was less me and more the perch underneath. Good. Good job. So I have to say, you remember how he wasn't ever really responsive to nuts and stuff? Um, he just kind of became responsive. I just kept doing it because it's in my nature to do. And I always have a variety in my treat pouch. So I just kept trying and eventually he is responsive to it. So don't give up is the motto of that. Gosh, you're doing great on this. So this would be the carrier I would definitely use for him, especially if it was mine. Can you come? Good. Can I try putting you inside? Wow, good boy. You can come on out. That was crazy. Didn't expect to be able to do that. Hey Bean, can you come on out? Good. I gave him a big old chunk for that. So we'll see where he chooses to eat it. If he gets off of it entirely or stays on. Oh my gosh, climbing to the top to eat that treat. You guys, that's amazing. That's huge. So if you're having trouble crate training, Try a different crate, because if you're not married to that crate, which you shouldn't be if you're doing this in um, in time, like way before they actually have to use it, then you're golden. That was so good. Good job, buddy. Good. I think he's actually a little scared of the perch, though. I think that's the main problem with this. I'm gonna try again. Putting him inside. Here you come. Good boy. I'm sure putting you in again. Good. Try targeting him in there. Gave him a pretty big one. Good. Oops. My bad. Um. Gosh, he's just chilling, you guys. Bean, they yell at me for making things look too easy. So, worried about that this time. Can you come over here? Yeah? Sometimes, uh, what's his name? Halo? Ricochet? Yeah, ricochet out. Cool. He like now he doesn't want to leave the perch. That's funny. Okay. How about over here? Now you don't want to come out? Seriously? Okay, how about this? How about we work on closing the door? Good. Good. That's cool. Try you coming over to the closed door. Good. Do you want to push the door open? Good. Good job. Oh my gosh, are you seriously? <laughs> I usually tell people when they're crate training to, uh, like, once the bird doesn't want to come out, you've done it. Uh, well, that was a really short session, dude. But yeah, I could have no problem in this cage. <laughs> I wanted you to come down. Can you come down? No? You just really like being on the cage right now. How about over here?
good. Then you can come down here. You know, we actually accomplished a lot, didn't we? So I should probably do a last bit with you. Will you come? Good. I'm gonna have you eat it inside. Oh, trickery. 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 Good. Kept trying to grab it with his beak so that he didn't have to go in. So at least he's not He's not like super loving it, but he's not hating it either. I think one of the things I could do is start feeding him in this, but I honestly, I don't have a huge need for a crate. It's just something I figured out normal people would want. So I'm happy with this level because people could then work on different crates. Our travel carriers are not really like travel carriers. They're full on cages and he's already been awesome in it. Good. So another thing you can do with this, if you can get your bird to go into a crate, is just um, click and reward for them being in there and give them larger treats where hopefully they choose to consume that whole treat inside. So they're getting longer amounts of time in there. So just the fact that he's staying. Oh, he hates almonds. Okay. I forgot about that. Um, just the fact that he turned his back on the open door and chose to stay. Deserves a good chunk of reward. And when he comes out, it'll be the same thing. Might use a dish to entice you to come out. You come on out. Come on out. Oh my gosh, really? Hey, Bean. Yay, good job. There's two pine nuts still in there, so we'll see if he goes for them. So that was before breakfast, so now I'm gonna go get Bean some breakfast, and he did great. It was a great first session. All right, so just got breakfast. Can we do it? Can we do it in the cage? It's like, I don't know about that. We just had a good session. Why do I have to go back in there? Can we do it just outside of it? You don't have to, Bean. I can move it outside of it. You're like all hesitant. He's like, no, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, he was doing it. I was actually gonna move it out just because he was walking so slow. Cool, so you can see he's not 100% like all avenues of it, but, and I haven't actually picked it up, like closed it and picked it up with him yet, but that was a really fantastic first session. I'm happy with that. And I'm happy with the fact that he's just eating it this close right now. I thought I'd have to put it outside of it, so. Super cool. Eventually I'd love to utilize the dish inside, you know? So he has to climb all the way inside to eat. We'll get there. Um, yeah, you could hand him a little piece. Can you hand him a little piece? <laughs> there you go. I think he likes it. Okay. Thank you. Hey, sir. Can I have you? Good job. Um, what are you practicing? I am going to practice getting him to be good with this um, carrier. So. Oh, from inside it looks like a bird trap. I mean, like a trap. <laughs> And it does. Okay. Can we try something? Can you come? 
Well, you got the big one. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, nope. hold on. Good. Now he can eat his treat in there. A little place up. Don't go too close to him. I don't want to upset him. Thank you. So I'm going to try closing the front door. Oh, clicker got a little stuck that time. Sometimes treats go in and get stuck on it. Alright, so this time I'm going to pick them up. Good job! Look at you! I might be confusing them with the fact that I have a stick. Good job! You're doing so good! I thought he was going to go running out. He's coming out. Maybe. Come back over here. Yeah, I don't want him to learn to go running out. Okay, let's see if we can get you to come push the door open. You can push the door open. It's open. Yeah, see? You pushing it? You can push it. Yeah. In this chair. You push? Yay! You did it. Not him. <laughs> I have a feeling that's going to close on you. Oh, I'm filming the ground. Can you come over here? Smart idea. I don't want him collapsing into the cage. Cool, well, that's good. I think I'm going to go grab the other cage and try. I turn this off. Try it with the other cage. Thank you. Kind of looks like he wants to fly. Come on. You Can you fly? Can you fly? Come on, come on. <laughs>